Hello everyone, Prince and the Bear here, and today we're at Epcot World Showcase to check out Le Cellier. We've heard a ton about this uh, steakhouse. A lot of people recommended it. It's something that you guys recommended, so we're finally taking time to actually go and try it out. I might even get a steak. And um, I think this is the first steakhouse that we are reviewing, so we can tell you what it's like to be vegan in a steakhouse. So uh, let's go see it. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Earth Balance. I love it when they have Earth Balance because it's so good. And then we have all these different breads. They're all vegan. I'm going with the healthy one. Fat. Mm. Mm -hmm. I would do just the bread. It's really good. I probably eat the pretzel one too, just because the bear is not a pretzel person and I am. Just as good as a Germany pretzel. I'm really curious about this uh, sourdough here. It's warm, flaky. And they gave me a little bit of butter with maple and sea salt. Interesting mix. Good times are Canadian. Mm. Butter is amazing. That alone is a four out of five. The sourdough is really good. You got a three and a half out of five claws. I'm so excited for this. So I didn't know the bear ordered Brussels sprouts and they're vegan, the waiter told me. So Smells Brussels sprouty. Mmm. Oh wow. It's got a crisp to it. And then it's like cooked in whiskey, so it's got like a a nice like flavor to it. I think this is the best Brussels sprouts I've had at Disney, just period. And I've had quite a few Brussels sprout plates at Disney, but this one takes the cake, for sure. Brussels sprouts are my new weakness. My favorite vegetable used to be broccoli, but now I cannot get enough of Brussels sprouts. Mm. Maple whiskey glaze. And you can taste all of it. Four out of five. I feel like I need chopsticks for this, but I'm in Canada, so. Impossible dumpling. Mmm. Oh my gosh, yes. Sorry. 
It's got that impossible meat taste to it. And the dumpling is really good. Almost tastes like a soup dumpling. Really, really, really good. Wow. It always surprises me. Everything Disney will do with impossible meat, more than any place we've seen thus far, they're willing to do everything with tacos, meatballs, dumplings. Five out of five. Like that is better than I, I think a regular dumpling would be. Against possible meat, I really can't tell the difference. It does have an impossible flavor to it, but that, that's definitely a five out of five. Try this broth bear. It tastes like allspice. Hmm. How do I feel about that? It's good. I can't place the flavors. Now, I had a steak. I don't normally get steak. But I went for broke. I got the filet mignon. Medium rare. They're perfect. Without fail. This is probably the best steak I've had since the last time I went to Ruth Chris. It's probably like three years ago. Five out of five. This is good. I would come here again. This is the filet mignon. Is this good? I'm curious how the rest of the steaks are, honestly. Bear approves. Princess Bear here, and we just got out of Les Cellier. Thoughts? It was great experience great dining experience my food felt like i was eating salt just straight up salt but it was delicious but salty too salty yeah i loved all of mine it's sunny now but the steak was amazing you know you eat steak all the sprouts were great um the mushroom risotto uh it was excellent i didn't really have any complaints the truffle butter sauce was awesome i had to stop eating it because lactose intolerant and I didn't bring my lactate so didn't want to die but uh, if I could have I would have cleaned that plate most definitely this, mine was too salty to finish for me this is this is I would do again oh yeah I would agree do it again yeah I would do it again uh, maybe try to ask for a little less salty I don't know how you would solve for the saltiness for the uh, impossible dumplings mm. but some way I'm sure they can and the bread is amazing so. I would definitely say come try it. it it's worth yeah. the gamble on it. It is. It's definitely one of the uh, best food places here at Epcot that we've had so far. I want to say that maybe my salty impossible dumplings was a one-off thing. I would be willing to try it again just to see if it if it truly is that salty if it was just an off day. <laughs> well, till next time. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. I'm having a hard time finishing my plate. It's really salty.